There's so much more to angling than just catching fish. It's about the whole experience, the preparation and anticipation. It creates opportunities to explore our world and discover places you never otherwise would have. The fish you catch are just a byproduct of the adventure that angling takes you on. The journey itself and the inspiration it brings hold the true magic. Out here, it sometimes feels like a battle. The wind decides where you can fish, where you can travel. But look for ways to accept it. Embrace it even. It's all part of the game. Frustration gets you nowhere. Even when they spit right in your face. Oh, whew, that'll get your blood going, huh? A part of the country rich in history and folklore Vermont and upstate New York are home to some of the finest smallmouth bass fishing on the planet. Nestled between the mountains that were sculpted by glaciers more than 400 million years ago lie a high density of oligotrophic and mesotrophic lakes. Deep, clear water where sedimentary boulders and slate collide to form the lifeless perfection that these eccentrically tempered fish call their habitat. From deep water humps to go. shallow rocky That's flats, mid-lake oh reefs to back bay coves, these oh. fish dominate the water in this part go. of the country. Like, like Their abundance combined with being an opportunistic carnivore and an acrobatic fighter makes them an ideal sport fish. Did you just double up on me? Did you double up? I'm way from the <laughs> Take your pick from any of the top smallie baits. For a search bait, we like the Strike King Double Willow Leaf Three Quarter Ounce White Spinner Bait. Oh, oh man, look at that, huh? Wow, what a view. For a little more finesse, we oh. prefer 1 8 or 1 10 ounce Ned Rigs or Swim Baits. But no matter what bait or rod you choose, Smallmouth will earn your respect, intoxicate you with their temperament. Pound for pound, the best fight in fresh water a spring-loaded, football-shaped torpedo with a foul attitude. Something about fighting them just makes you feel alive. I just feel alive. Really taking me to school. That I be turning heads. What are the kids said? Oh, that's a big smile. Wow, she did. And what you want is what I am. Maybe that's fine. Living it up, you know, I don't even care. What are the kids said? I just feel Just feel alive. 
Jeez. Wow, he's a real horse. Look at these, huh? That's this is a lot. Look at this thing. Wow, what a beauty, huh? He's just gorgeous. I'm on fire with like five now. Smoly? Dude, look at this thing. Oh, oh, just another Wednesday morning. <laughs> that is a chunky lady. That is a meatball. Look at the size of these small mouths, huh? He's really heavy. Look at this thing. Right there. See, look, there. I got it. I got it, Steve. Yeah. Yeah. A big small. Seagulls diving on the surface, bait fish splashing, and apparently small. And as soon as you're on it, there's fish every time. Nice one, man. Look at you fish. <laughs> yeah, right. Fantastic. Oh, there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yep, yep. One of those nice one of those big girls. Look at the girth on this thing. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, God, you're joking. Look at the size of this thing. That might. That is close. To the biggest bass. Yeah. Woohoo. All right. Well, that was fun. Oh my goodness. Let's go. Look at how pretty she is. She's perfect. I do this all day, huh? What a tag. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, beauty, huh? Hey, dude. Doubles <laughs> up. Oh, man, incredible. Look at the size of that. Brow bass. Last cast. <laughs> Boom, nails one. Unreal. <laughs> what a way to wrap it up. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>We may have told this story just in the nick of time. Because over the last decade, more and more tournament and recreational anglers have frequented these lakes. The word is out. And as a result, every year becomes just a bit more challenging than the last. How long until this part of the country is like the rest? Just another bunch of overpressured lakes where the fishing is subpar. It makes you stop and think, what can we do to preserve the quality of our natural fisheries? There, see that? That's a bed. I gotta get her back because she came right off the bed. I don't want her to be gone for very long. It's time we pay homage to the good old days of tomorrow. So if you're already out here or thinking about joining us, treat what is around you with gratitude. Be respectful to these fish and their surroundings because it is we that have the greatest impact on their abundance. So help protect what we have right now. And we'll see you out on the water. <laughs>